Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of up and coming videos. So now I'm going to be talking about our range of Marutu hooks that we use for bass fishing. As far as our worm hooks go, this is a 19537M, okay? 19537M. And like with everything from a router, it is done with a high carbon steel. Black nickel, uh, high carbon steel, and they're all chemically sharpened, okay? So size-wise, starts off with the smallest one being a number one, 10203040, and of course the 50 um, for those big old plastic worms that we use. We've also got the heavy duty wide gape hooks, and again it starts off the uh, 10 and it goes all the way to a 50, 10203040, and of course the biggest one being the 50. Like I said, they're heavy duty, so they're a lot thicker than the other ones ideal for those big thick baits for when you're fishing for uh, bigger bass and that. Then we've got our worm hooks and this here starts off with a 3-0, and 5 -0. They are, this hook is ideal for bass fishing as well as for shad. Okay, so for those of you who like to catch shad, saltwater wise, it is a deadly two extra strong hook for catching shad and I'll do a um, bait demonstration and a trace one for catching shad sometime in the future. Okay so just to show you how these uh, worm hooks work, the 1957Ms, it's a, and I'll start with this one here to show you, okay what makes this hook unique is the offset locking bend. In other words, you'll see this here is not straight. It's actually curved downwards. So what that does is actually holds the plastic worm on a lot better. The point will be in line with it. If I can show you, it basically sits like that. So it actually curves down. So the whole thing from there basically goes all the way down. I'll just put my finger there if you can see. Okay. So it just makes it a lot better as, as far as how the worm is locked on, that um, locking bend over there. Very, very important. It just holds the worm on a lot better. And of course, because of that slant of the actual barb and that, and the point in the, the barb, it actually holds the bass on a lot better. So you can't shake it off. Okay. So to show you how we rig it, I'll just grab one of my worms here. Let's grab this one here. So this is our ribbed reaction worm, mm, garlic scented of course. So Carolina rigging, Texas rigging doesn't really make a difference. How we actually do it, get that there, you go straight up and down until you get to where the bend is. There we go, you can see the bend of the actual um, shank over there. We then pull it out, like so, and slide it along the shank of the hook. When we get there, we're going to twist it. Okay, and that's the important part. Because of that design, that worm's not going to come off now. So the bass can pull as hard as he wants, that's not going to come off. So that locking um, point that they have over there, that locking bend there, locks that worm in place, that offset lock basically locks it now in place uh, just because of the design that they use then what we'll do is we light next to it so you see where the bend of the Maruta hook is over here I'm just going to hold it like this so where the bend is over there is where we're going to go into the worm so lay it next to your worm take this and go straight through to the other side and because of that downward shape can you see there, before I even do anything, it already lies straight in line. So all we do is we just go back on it, 
and leave it in. There we go. There's your worm hook, straight, ready to fish. Okay, the minute the bass pushes down or engulfs it, that point over there is going to go straight into the fish. So, there we go, guys. That's why these worm hooks are so effective for bass fishing. There we go. So that locking bend actually holds it in place. Very, very important. That's what makes these uh, worm hooks so effective, guys. Okay. So I'm just going to use the 5-0 here. So it's pretty much, again, that locking mechanism, the offset worm hook. So it's not straight, it's offset. So that offset section over there is basically what holds your soft uh, plastic on a lot better. And it's very important that it just keeps it on so you can catch a lot more fish. You don't have to keep on changing your worms. It's a heavier duty wire gauge with a very big bend in it. Okay, why a big bend? For bigger plastics. Okay, and again, that will be straight in line. Okay, so it's straight in line, gives you the wide bend, ideal for flukes and big plastic baits. Nice for big, uh, big bass. Okay, so how we rig it? And again, it's um, high carbon steel, chemically sharpened. Okay, so this is one of our reaction plastics. <clears throat> Okay, and again, it's our stretch plastic, guys. Just remember, it's our stretch plastic. So these float. Um, ideal for on the surface, look like a wounded fish swimming around. Okay, let's just put my glasses on. How we rig it? Straight through the eye like that. Straight down, out. When we get to the bend part over here, we take it and we twist. And you'll see the, the whole eye of the hook is inside, so you don't have this big piece of metal sticking out looking unnatural in the bait. Okay, so the locking mechanism now, the offset locking mechanism, locks it in place, so it's not going to come off. Very important for when you're bass fishing. Okay, so all we do now is take our plastic and go straight through the center. Let's do that. There we go. So, best way to show you it, there it lies over there. Absolutely perfect. Like I said, this reaction floats. So all we're going to do to make this weedless, is you take it and you just push back on the plastic like that, that the point goes in it. You can see there's a nice wide gape on it, so when the bass inhales it, that part will obviously give you a much better hook set. So there we go. Just back on it, and there we go. Guys, these are our wide gape hooks. Um, <clears throat> ideal for fishing with frogs. So there we go. There's our lovely reaction frog that we use with these Maruto hooks. Lovely for pulling through weeds and that. And of course, when you're pulling it through water hyacinths and that, it's always getting stuck on the water hyacinths. So that little locking uh, kill, if you want to call it, actually locks it in place, stops it from getting pulled off or dragged off. Guys, very important when you're using that um, hook through weeds and that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, guys, this is our... Marutu round bend worm hook. Okay. This hook, like it says, is a J shape with a round bend on it. It's quite a wide gape round bend. It comes with micro bobs to hold the bait on properly. When I'm talking about micro bobs, I'm talking about the bobs over there and over there which hold the worm on nicely, but also ideal for when you're catching shad. Um, Shad fishing, your bait holds on a lot better. It is absolutely phenomenal, this hook. It is a two extra strong hook, so it's extremely strong. And you can see these muscles here. That's from catching all the shad the last year on that hook. I'm a shad king, but because of that hook there. It's thin, 
Um, it penetrates the mouth of the shed a lot easier. And bass, don't get me wrong, it's got a micro barb on the front as well. All the Marutu hooks in the bass range come with a micro barb. And the reason they have a micro barb is that a micro barb goes through the jaw a lot easier than a thick barb or a larger barb. So you get a better hook set. And again, it's a smaller hole made in your, your fish's mouth. In other words, in the bass's mouth. So you don't have this huge big gaping hole when you take the hook out. Micro barb, very, very good. Very important for bass fishing. Okay, so again, chemically sharpened, micro barb in three different places there, long shank, excellent hook for shad and for bass fishing. Show you how to rig it quickly. <clears throat> again, Carolina or Texas is up to you. All we're going to do is take that and go straight through. Come all the way down to where those micro bulbs are. Now you see the micro bulbs actually hold it on. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it all the way off. Those micro bulbs hold it on. Okay. We lay the actual worm next to the hook, and the best way to show you is like that. So where it goes through is where I want to go into it. And as I do it, I'm just pulling the hook down. There we go. So there it is there. So you can see the, the point actually sticks out ever so slightly over there. That holds it on place with the micro bulbs. And there we go, guys. And again, of course, if the bass bites down, straight away that hook is exposed. This style of hook is best used in open water where there's a lot of sand or silt. So... Again, it's a floating lure, so it'll float up, or it's a sinking lure. It depends on what you want to use it as or how you want to use it. But ideal for those floating lures where it actually floats up in the water column. Okay, so just remember that. Um, nice, like I say, ideal for fishing around sandy shale areas. Okay, guys, so that's it there. That's our Marutu worm hook. Shad hook two. Okay, so <clears throat> at the end of the day, just to run through it, Marutu hooks um, in our bass range, all micro barbs, all chemically sharpened, all high carbon steel. And yeah, some of them come with uh, barbs on it, some of them don't. The range will increase in the future. Um, yeah, so go into any tackle store nationwide and ask for them, or any of our Kingfisher branches. Guys, go out there, enjoy your bass fishing.